This episode of Sea Tally Run is brought to you by Grandma's Marathon, the Carrie Tollefson Training Camp, and M Tech Results. <laughs> and Carrie Tollefson and today we're at the 38th annual Grandma's Marathon. So let's get after it. 38th annual Grandma's Marathon and we're just excited to welcome everybody to town. It is so much fun. I just got done running the 5k and I'm so pumped for the races tomorrow. I'll talk about tomorrow's race. Yeah we can't wait. This 5k is a great way to kick off the event but it really leads us into the half marathon and the full marathon tomorrow in our two feature races. So we can't wait a, feature, a record crowd in the half marathon and 600 more runners in our marathon than we had a year ago. So we are absolutely excited for what's about to happen. Two harbors to Duluth tomorrow. Dick Beardsley says every year, this just might be the year that my record goes down. So if this win stays like it is, I would not be surprised if there's a course record. This was good. I love it and I love the Kuska court. Yeah, and love with all the people. How did Dick Beardsley, what did he have to say? He was so happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big hug from Dick Beardsley? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Being a Minnesota kid, having the record here at my favorite race ever and Duluth being like a second hometown to me, it's 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 I've been honored to be able to Aww. <clears throat> He is a Minnesotan here. Woo. To be able to carry the torch for that long, but now it's time to pass it on. And and he'll do it with great respect and great honor, I'm sure. Yeah, my plan was follow my base and uh, try to believe on myself and have faith. And no matter who was ahead of me or whoever was going to win or what, just to believe on myself. Was it everything that it's cracked up to be? Yes, absolutely. Gorgeous uh, scenery, nice course. Yeah, really well organized. It was great. What does it feel like to come to the Grandma's Marathon, run this course, and now qualify for Boston? Great course, and the people are so wonderful. The volunteers and everybody that's out there. This just is a wonderful race. It really is. Ran within myself and just believed, thought about your video you made. And then when it started to hurt, I just started grimacing or smiling and everyone thought I was smiling so they kept cheering and cheering and then I just started smiling for real. It was on my bucket list. A friend of mine told me about this one many years ago and I had to do it. Just knowing all the people who are out, it's such a small race but you have the feeling like you're all here in it together and talking to people and pumping people up around me. It's beautiful, the weather's perfect, the fans come out, it's awesome. This is amazing, it was a gorgeous course, it, I couldn't be happier with my time, couldn't be happier with the crowd support, way to go Duluth. This was ideal conditions, a little bit of wind off the lake, cloudy most of the day, here in a couple hours, the sun's gonna shine, we're gonna have people dancing like crazy, couldn't ask for anything more. for Grandma's Marathon. Get after it. Well, don't you know, we all just love you so much. Are you gonna go fishing now? I got my boat with me, you know, I'm gonna go after some walleye and some pike. What brought you to, to Grandma's Marathon? You're beautiful. <laughs> and you inspired me, because I remember seeing you at mile 24 of TCM, and I'm like, Carrie, and you did not you did not alter your gaze at all. You were in it. so Because I was seeing the gates of heaven. <laughs> well, at least you were seeing the gates of heaven. It, so. That's right. You know, this is one of those small town fields, but a big time marathon. So congratulations on everything. Well, thank you, Matt. And get, get after it. it.